Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Zev from Zev Outdoors. I hope you're having an awesome day. So, I'm actually in my back garden, right? Because I was going to go out and do this video, but timing, timing is just one of those things. So I thought, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to stay at home and record this video. Now, this is a video that I've been meaning to do for quite a while, and it's a video showing my urban EDC. So it's not the EDC for when I go out bushcrafting or the outdoors. This is my urban, as in like, in an urban environment. So, um, what actually prompted me to do the video now uh, and finally get around to it was uh, a friend of mine, Hunterian1986 James, um, has got his 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Now he's an awesome guy who's supported me a lot in the beginning when I started out my channel earlier in the year and throughout up until now and become quite good friends. Um, he's did a 1,000 subscriber giveaway uh, and asking you to show your EDC. Now it could be your bushcraft EDC, etc. And I've decided to finally get around to doing my urban EDC. Now, a message to James personally that if I win the competition, sorry, screaming at the neighbours, right? It's not me. Um, if I win the competition, if you can donate my winning to the Help for Heroes uh, Foundation, so um, you know they can auction it off and raise money for the, the, the work that they do. So I'm going to put a link to James's channel just below the video. Awesome guy, check out his channel if you like what you see, and hey, show him some support. So with the Urban EDC, I've got kind of like three levels uh, of my Urban EDC that I'm going to be um, showing you. And um, I'll do that in a second. So just to set a bit of context, um, for me, an EDC is everyday carry. It's something that you actually carry on you, you know, that you've got either when you go out or when you're at home. Um, to set a bit of context, I'm based in London. So obviously it's an urban jungle um, and I work from home. So what you see here, I mean, you can't see it here, but I've got like a uh, uh, tracksuit bottoms on because I do a lot of exercise at home. Um, so I don't wear like jeans or cargo pants with a belt attachment, so it kind of affects what I can carry and what I don't. Um, so I work from home, so 90% of the time I'm at home, I'm not really going out. So what you're going to see in my urban EDC is very, very specific to me. Okay, It's very important you understand that, because when you watch other people's videos, that's specific to them. you know. And what I'm going to show you is specific to me, so it's not necessarily what you have to carry that far from it. So what we'll do, let's jump on now and uh, I'll show you my urban EDC. Okay, so here's the first stage of my personal urban EDC. Like I said, there's three stages of it. So remember, I work from home. Um, I wear tracksuit bottoms, so 90% of the time I'm at home. So while I'm at home, 100% this will be on me. You know, the analogy is used that if you were to knock on my door, um, then you know what would you see on me? You know, so this is literally it. I'm not you know making any of this up. So start off with the simple stuff. Obviously, I just have you know a tissue. Um, I have an inhaler. I'm an asthmatic since a, a very young age, so obviously that's always on me. Uh, and I have my phone. This is the iPhone 4. Now, I'm actually due for an upgrade um, in about three months' time, so I'm more than likely going to get the new iPhone 6. Um, I'm actually going to do a separate video on this because I have a, a thing on it called a Zag Shield, uh, which is a protective layer. So this is worn out a little bit. I've had this for almost three years now. Um, and it's in a leather case. This is what I've had for literally over the past two and a half years. So I'm going to get the iPhone 6 with a completely protective waterproof case on it. At the moment, I do have the Zag Shield, Z uh, A G G or Z, as you Yanks pronounce. Um, and that's what I have on there. So that's like a military grade uh, like coating on there. That's what I have here. And I have my keychain, and my keychain hasn't really changed a lot since the beginning of the year. Uh, the one thing I do have is I have this. Now this kind of like slots onto my tracksuit bottoms and it just kind of just goes inside my pocket. But here's the problem I found was in the beginning I had a really, really bulky key set um, you know, with everything on it, a lot of the stuff I didn't actually need. And when you put it in your in your bottoms, you know, you get a massive bulge, right? Insert in your endo. Um, and that's what you had. So I really wanted to get rid of that. So what I found was I found this uh, keychain. We actually had to order this from the States. Um, and this is the Night Eyes key rack, so that just kind of goes straight on there. So you can imagine that, that just kind of hangs straight in there. Obviously, I unclip it every time I need to use it. So what I have on here is, the first thing I have is a LED lenser, P3 torch. Now, this is a great torch, but I'm going to replace this. It's got a black uh, a button on here to turn it on and off. Um, it has a couple of different options, um, but this just keeps coming on every time you put it in your pocket. But it is a great torch, but for the key change, it's not very good. So. Obviously I have my, my keys. I have the Gerber multi-tool. Now I'm gonna upgrade this to a small Leatherman's. Uh, I have a true utility pen, telescopic, love this. Uh, very, very handy, I've had to use it a couple of times. I have the Leatherman Bruiser. Okay, it's like a pry bar. Uh, really, really like that. Small whistle, I'm gonna be getting a titanium one. And I have the True Light 
um, lighter. Um, and this, do you know what? I, I think I filled it once when I first got it. And there you go. You know, so that will actually probably need some refilling now, but it's been like that pretty much all year. And I don't smoke or anything, so, you know, uh, I have no reason to. Um, and there you go, that is my keychain. So that is literally what I'll have on me if you were to knock on my door and I'll have on me on my person. Okay, so this is stage two of my Urban EDC. So you've seen what I carry on me when I'm at home. Now, if I were to leave the house literally for just local errands, which is most of what I do, like literally if I were to just pop down the road to, to, you know, to go to the petrol station, to grab a loaf of bread, wherever I need to, um, I would take this bag here. Now this is actually like a, you know, like a just slings over your shoulder, um, you know, size of my hand there. So it's an East Pack one. Um, I've had this for years and I absolutely love this. Um, it's got a front compartment here. It's got the main compartment inside here, another zip compartment, and it's got a compartment at the back, you know. Um, and like I say, it just goes straight over my back. And what I found with this was, it's just really convenient. You know, you don't even notice it. It just slings over your shoulder, sits on your side, and that's it, done. You don't even notice the thing. Um, so what I will do, all this stuff will be inside it. So literally, any time I step outside the house to, to do the slightest thing, this will go with me, you know. I had some bigger stuff, but to be honest with you, it was a pain. So this I found, ultimately, was, you know, um, was a really convenient thing to carry. So what did I have in here? So I have... Um, in a little Ziploc bag, I have these Peppersmith uh, chewing gums. These are 100% organic. There's no aspartame, there's no junk in here or anything. And these are some Altoids. Um, I bought a load of tins, so I'm just trying to gain the mints inside them. So I just keep them inside there just to keep them fresh, okay? So I'll keep that in there. Uh, I have my car keys. Um, this is obviously my main car key. This has a, a steering lock. This is called a boomerang policy. So for those in the UK, if you don't have one, check with your insurance company. Um, you pay a real small amount every year. Um, and it just covers you, you know, if your keys get lost, if they get stuck inside a car, you get locked out. It covers you uh, for uh, to get a locksmith to come out practically for free um, and get you out. So um, I have that. I've had that for years, that policy. And this was actually from the, I'm trying to remember, was it the Wilderness Gathering or the Bushcraft Show, one of them? Uh, and this was about a Maasai, uh, this key ring here, so that's obviously a sentimental thing. So obviously my car keys are with me. I have a pack of tissue, I always use a tempo, really strong tissues, so insert innuendo there. Um, I have this um, lip balm here, it's Nova Scotia, so 100% organic from sea kelp, um, great, 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 great uh, lip balm, uh, absolutely love this, so it tastes a bit, <laughs> bit to get used to, but it's actually really, really good for you, so I have that, uh, now I have an iPhone and an iPad, so this is obviously the, the plug for it, the USB, um, this is the charger for the iPad mini, um, and I had this kind of like a, 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 a kind of like strap that goes around it, the Velcro one. And this is for the, um, um, sorry, that's for the iPhone. This is for the iPad mini. So I obviously have those two on me. This is obviously the uh, headphones for the iPhone. This is a Babino uh, organizer for your for your headset. You know the wires always get kind of tangled up. So this just kind of just you know, just keeps it all organized. I have OCD, so I like to keep things organized. This is by Levera. It's a German company. It's 100% organic. Uh, uh, moisturizing cream so nothing but the best for Mr Z Outdoors so I've used quite a few I've noticed a bit of a trend here I've tried to keep things organic where possible so always keep that on me it's always quite important for me uh, always keep also a notepad with a pen I'm upgrading this to a moleskin notepad um, and a nicer pen um, so I do have that and lastly I have my wallet so what I'm going to do let me actually um, move all this out of the way now and let's look inside the contents of the wallet like I said all of this goes very comfortably in there uh, and this just slings over my shoulder, so I always have this on me the moment I step outside. But let's just move all this out of the way, and let's have a look inside our Maxpedition wallet. So here you go, here is my Maxpedition wallet. Uh, I'm trying to remember, is this the CMC wallet, I think they call it. Um, absolutely love this, built like an absolute tank. Um, now being in the UK, you need one with a zip. I think the other version they do doesn't have one, so it's a bit more streamlined. But in the UK, yeah, I know in America you don't really need it too much, but in the UK you need it uh, with change for parking, etc. You know, it's a very common thing here. So obviously I have all my change here. Um, Velcro seal. Now obviously there's a lot of views on, uh, reviews online for the actual wallet, so I'm not going to go into the actual wallet itself too much. Um, now what it is, like I said, there's a lot of things in I'm going to be changing. So um, I'm not going to pull these out. Obviously these are my you know, cards. Um, my important cards, credit cards, debit cards, etc. Um, in here, I have this, you know, these little cheap uh, torch key rings that you get. 
Uh, really cool, they weigh nothing, very, very cheap. So that just slides in there, slightly, you know, these elasticated tabs. In here, I have a hank, small hank of Kevlar thread. So I'm going to be replacing that with bank line, but obviously it's a very, very strong thread, uh, thread on its own cord. So I just have a little hank of that inside here. Uh, and here, what I have in here, I'm not going to open this up. Um, this is actually a, a, a piece of paper that has my personal details on there. So God forbid anything happens to me while I'm outside, you know, I'm involved in an accident or health-wise or anything happens to me. This contains like my personal contact information, any health allergies, etc. It's always important to have some information on you. God forbid you could be out on your own and something could happen, you know. Um, I worked in social services for many years and it's an important thing that you carry some kind of you know, information on you, you know, your health wise, etc. So I have that. Um, I have some money in the bank here. Uh, I have like another hidden note just besides here. Um, it, has, it has a lot of compartments in here actually. Uh, behind here, I keep a couple of things. Um, like I said, I'm just showing you as it is. I'm not kind of making this up what I carry. So I carry a small Fresnel lens. A fire light and etc. I mean, this is just so light, so cheap. I just put one in here. It's a plain plastic car, uh, card, and I've got some uh, gorilla tape on here. You know, I think that's always quite useful. I've not had to use this, I'll be honest with you, but it's just good to have in there. And this is one of those multi tool cards that you get. The one thing I am going to do with this, I'm going to sharpen up uh, the knife here. It's a little bit sharp, but you know, you're not really going to do too much with it. So, you know, obviously, the rest is self explanatory in terms of what it does. Um, but once again, these are just so cheap, you know. Uh, so I have these three just stashed behind here. So let's just put this away here. Um, behind here, what do I have behind it? Oh, nothing. Don't have anything behind there. So in the zip here compartment, I have quite a few things. Um, I love this. It's like the TARDIS, this, this Maxpedition wallet. So one thing I have is, let me just pull it all out. Um, I have a whistle. You know, it's quite a loud whistle, actually. Um, I have a toothpick, self-explanatory, right? Um, this is really cool. I have a small Oppenol blade. What is, what is this? This is the number three. Tiny. Obviously, UK legal. It doesn't lock. Um, you know, I think it's just useful to have, you know, like a little good quality knife. Uh, super, super sharp. Um, obviously, I have a, a knife on my multi-tool, the Gerber. But it's just, you know, just handy to have that. I thought it was quite cute, that. So, um, I have a Bic lighter. You know, just useful to have. Um, what else what happened here? You know, I keep um, obviously some uh, uh, water purification tablets. Um, I'll keep that in there, and I keep a USB, just a little mini USB. I think this is a one gigabyte one. You know, so it's just useful to have that on there. Um, so, like I said, you know, that is what I have in my wallet uh, there, and that just goes into my bag. So there you have, this is the third stage now of my urban EDC. So obviously you saw what I carry on me on my person when I'm at home. The moment I leave my house, obviously I put the smaller stuff into here. More times than often I take this. Now if I need to go out for just a little bit longer, let's say yeah, two, three hours or whatever, obviously not really heading far. Uh, for that I'm going to do a separate video. I have a uh, um, 511 Rush 12 backpack, you know, that has specific stuff that has my laptop and all of that. I'll do that on a separate occasion. But this is more my urban EDC, what I really carry around. So what I'll do if it's a next level up, uh, I have all my stuff in here and then I just carry this stuff here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and the beauty with this is there's no faffing around. I can just put it straight into here and that's it. I'm done. I just take my bag and I go. So, you know, I, I found over time, you know, practically this is just a lot easier to do it like this. So this is a Berghaus backpack. I forgot the exact model number. Uh, I don't remember the model number on this. And you know what? Absolutely love this. I actually bought this one Millets. Uh, for those in the UK know, it's a brand uh, 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 outlets in the UK. And they closed down a few years ago, like about 90% of their branches. And this was going on sale. And I think I bought it for about like 10 pounds. Um, and I absolutely love this bag, you know. Um, so like I said, you know, you can see by my hand, there's a very small backpack, very streamlined. Um, and it's just great. I love it. You know, it's got some mesh pockets here. Um, what I love, it's also got a... Um, you know, uh, uh, um, a kind of wet cover here. Um, that's all built inside. Um, it's just a neat, it's got a little pocket here. Uh, it's got, you know, one main compartment with a kind of like elasticated compartment there. Here you can obviously hang something like, uh, uh, outside of it. And that's it, you know, it's got a really padded back. Um, absolutely love this. It's just a really, really, really nice backpack. You don't even notice it when it's on. So that's why I just enjoy carrying this on my kind of like urban EDC. Um, and really, apart from, like I said, the, the, the East Pack, all I have else in there is I have a Nolgeen 500ml bottle. Now, I didn't know these actually exist. So I was in a store inside uh, central London in Soho. And um, 
sorry, Common Garden, and I saw this and I thought, wow, this is really, really cool. So it's obviously, I have, I have the main one later, which is my day-to-day -day bottle uh, at home, going out, camping, etc. cetera. Um, but I just found this one just to be a hell of a lot more convenient. You know, I drink a lot of water. So this is the Nalgene bottle. So obviously very, very sturdy. I just keep a spare pen, cheap pen at the bottom. This I've had for years. This is a Berghaus uh, glasses case, solid. And this could obviously strap on. Um, and I have, um, this is, oh, I forgot the make of it. It's an American make. It's a very cheap uh, sunglass company, X Loop. Don't think you can see it. Um, they're really cheap, but they're proper UV protected. You know, they're, they're chemically, uh, sorry, um, even a chemist recommend them. Um, and this is a Hyde's uh, sunglasses cover. I'll do a review on this some other time. And I absolutely love this because it obviously it just keeps it you know, uh, attached here so it doesn't go anywhere. It's full all the way around protection. And the beauty with this is, this is actually a microfiber cloth, so you can clean the glasses, but also it's a protector. So if you just put it around here, sorry, I think I was out of frame of the shot here. So I'm just sitting, I'm just trying to get this inside the frame of the shot, hence why it's proven to be a little bit difficult. So it just, just goes around here, and that's it. You know, that's it. It's just covered up now. It's really, really cool. It's called Hides, H-I-D-E-S. Really cheap, it's about four or five pounds, different colors, and that's it. So it protects that. Obviously it adds like a, a neck loop as well. I'll put it in here so it just completely protects it. And that's it, you know, that's that. This is my first aid kit. Obviously this is gonna be replaced as well with a more, more robust one. I'm not really gonna open it up. It's pretty self-explanatory what's in here. And lastly, I have my iPad mini. I love this. Yeah, I do a lot of reading, uh, a hell of a lot of reading on this. Um, primarily I use this for reading. Uh, I was going to get the Kindle, but I ended up switching to this. But obviously, this gives you the option as well to read, you know, read full color, um, you know, watch videos, etc. But really, I primarily use this for reading as a reading device. I do a lot of reading. Um, and there you go. That is my backpack there. That ultimately I'll put this into. So once this is in there, this slides sh sh straight easily into there, and that's it. You're done. I'm gone. So here you have it, here's basically everything laid out. So it looks like a lot, but like I said, it's really nothing. This section here is on my person, okay, the whole time. This stuff here goes very neatly into there, quite comfortably, it doesn't have to be a tight squeeze at all. It goes very comfortably into there. Um, and then this stuff here goes into there, okay. Uh, and that is it. So like this is the three stages. This is my personal, what I will always have on me. If you knocked on my door, I will have this on me. If I have to pop out just for a little brief visit, like a walk down to the shop or something, uh, post office or whatever, I will just have this slung around my shoulder, done. If I need to leave for a little bit longer, maybe like an hour, two hours or something, all of this uh, will go into here, you know, and I'll sling that over my shoulder. Like I said, I have a more robust uh, 511 backpack that I'll take into like all day missions, you know, if I need to go to central London for meetings or whatever. Um, so what we'll do, let me pack all this away so you can see how it looks like when it's packed up. So here you go, here's everything packed up. Like I said, this just goes in my pocket, nice and comfortable, no issues. This is what I sling over my shoulder when I need to just pop out literally for a walk down the shops. If I need to leave for a little bit longer, I take this. So obviously this is on me regardless. This will just go inside here, that's it. So look, you can see, completely empty, you know. Uh, this goes in here, just perfect. And that's it. I zip that up. And that's it, I'm done. I will just sling this over. So it's very important that I stress something, you know. In the beginning, I was just carrying loads and loads of stuff. And the bag was massive, and it was just it was just a nightmare, to be honest with you. And do you know what ends up happening? Is you don't end up using it, and it completely defeats the objective, part of me, of an EDC. And that is you carry it on you. You have it on you. This I will always have on me. If you saw me down the street, you know, at my post office, I will 100% have this as well. If I were to pop out for even just an hour, two hours longer, I will 100% have this on me as well. So regardless, you know, if you were to bump into me, 100% I'll have this on me. Um, and there you go. And I think it's very important you understand that a lot of people, you know, I see them carrying loads and loads of stuff. And I'm like, really? Do you really carry all that stuff? And hey, good luck to you if you do. But, you know, for me personally, I think I just had to practical, get realistic and realize what am I actually going to carry and what am I actually going to need. And once again, it's a given, you know, this stuff will be work in progress. A lot of this will be changing and chopping around. Uh, but for the situation I'm in right now in London, primarily working from home, um, that's it. I have this on me. So there you go. That was my urban EDC. I hope you found that insightful. Like I mentioned, it's going to be work in progress. A lot of changes to come. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do an update video in a few months time uh, with a lot of new pieces that I'm looking to get. And the moment I feel really, really comfortable uh, with my new setup, then I'll do an updated video on my Urban EDC. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, suggestions, feedback, apart from the screaming kids next door, then what you do, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to kind of reply uh, and let you know. And like I said, this is very specific to me. It's not you know, what you have to get, far from it. Um, and it is work in progress, you know. It's specific to me at this time of year, which is uh, December. Um, so, sorry, November. Um, I'm already jumping ahead in it. So it's literally turned the 1st of November, I'm doing this video. Um, and so like the weather's starting to get a bit cold now, the nights are drawing in. Uh, so like I said, this is very specific to me at this time of year. And as with everything, the kit evolves. So, as always, I hope you found this video useful. I know it's a little bit different to what I normally do, um, but it's stuff that's quite important. You know, you always need to be prepared and have kind of stuff on you that enables you to live your day-to-day -day life, you know, in a comfortable way. So, as always, any comments, questions, suggestions, feedback, let me know down below. Um, let me know your thoughts. And until next time, this is Zeb from Zed Outdoors. Peace out.